going on, do you? What a pretty boy. You're my pretty boy. And well, there's Benji, my, uh -huh. my little rescue dog. Uh huh. He, yeah. was, he was found in terrible condition in Camarillo, and they almost had to put him down because he was so bad. But uh -huh. they decided to keep him. Uh -huh. They called him Frankenstein. Oh, wow. It was so terrible. That <laughs> was awful. I was awful. born in Oakland, actually. And when I was about nine months old, my father, who was a civil engineer, got a job to build a dam in the jungles behind Rio de Janeiro. So of all things, in 1928, they took this big fat baby on the train with the dog all the way to the... I'm the, I'm the fat baby. Terrible, awful. And <laughs> my mother blamed it on the pediatrician. <laughs> Go off to Rio. Mm -hmm. And we lived there for about two years while he's in the jungle. And I don't know how my mother stood it, but she did. She was a good sport. Lived in New Jersey, uh, which my mother did not like. I remember a coal burning stove in the kitchen with about six grates that you had to lift off with a lever, pick up the thing, and dump whatever in there. We lived in Montecito, but the school, high school, was in town. So my mother finally bought a 1931 Austin. If you've ever seen one, it's very funny. Tiny little thing, two-seater, but it got 31 miles to the gallon. Do a movie and come out and the car would be gone. They would just pick it up and move it somewhere around the block. <laughs> I had a lot of adventures in that car. <laughs> Great. She was a really <laughs> unusual woman. She did all these paintings. She was a very good artist. My mother's paintings, mm -hmm. all, all the paintings in here, except that little pear. My granddaughter did that, but I had to put something in that hole, so I stuck it there. Well, we had the big Japanese shelling at Elwood, you know. That was the only place in the United States w w that was actually shelled during the war. Right. Really? My mother was a lookout person. They had these women that would go up and, or people, take a turn in these different spots in the hills where you'd sit and watch for airplanes, airplane watchers, and they gave you a chart on what the planes looked like, and then you were supposed to write it down. If you saw something weird, you're supposed to tell somebody. Well, I would remind them not to take themselves too seriously. <laughs> That's a, very important, I think, and I think most of them are pretty good about that. The end.